sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Sigil arrows won't work on this.
Where have they got the third one hidden away? until we stun them. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say.
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you to cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that.
When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Herjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Bulky! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. <laughs> What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough, and it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Listen! You just made the last mistake in your life! Let's go! Better take out that net! Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. Never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Ah! Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. <laughs> mm. No grip. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Go! 
Turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! He is dead! We gotta have a close stop at once, see? <laughs> ah, promising. Turn it. Copy that. There you go. Right on the money. Turn it again. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot! The sound of the wind! How? Oh. Watch and learn! See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> you don't got what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. <laughs> Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this.
does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. City, my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. She doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. Bay's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Fine, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own taste. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. final ingredient, the blood of a god. Give her your hand.
Coffee Vader almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without getting her twirl. Oh, we got volunteers! <laughs> 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 your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns. What hell? Ain't this just like old times? You can just put it more forebodingly myself. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. 
No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. Guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! <laughs>